we all know that afro beats is very very beautiful afro beat is successful afro beat is amazing you understand but some people don't even know what afro beat actually is and they are even claiming that they are the owners of afro beat so this made me ask myself question when you look at the afro beats that nigerians are singing you ask yourself is there any Ghanaian artist that is doing afro beat is there any Ghanaian artist artist that can do afro beats like nigerians that can do it at the standard which nigerians are doing because that's what we are going to discuss in this video Ghanaians are going to tell us if they own afro beats they should show us their musicians in ghana that are doing afro beats you understand i know where i'm going just be patient be patient calm down ever since afro beat became successful thanks to the work that nigerians have put in ever since the world accepted afro beats and it became a global successful music it switched from nigerian music because before we used to call it nigerian music in cameroon we did not call it afro beats back then when p square bracket all of them were singing we would say oh nigerian music because us in cameroon we have our kind of music you understand cameroonians they have their coupe de calais that they enjoy from cote d'ivoire and we all know that that coupe de calais is cote d'ivoire's music so even if there's a Cameroonian that is trying to do Coupe de Calais, we all know that, no, this is South, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivorian music. You understand? We have our Makosa and our Bikusi in Cameroon. It's our music. If, if, if Nigerians like, they start doing it. It will not change the fact that Bikusi belongs to Cameroon. Rumba music from the Congolese. They do their music. It belongs to them. Unfortunately for Ghana, they are all small as zone to where they start. We don't know how they take continuum. Because Ghanaians actually claim as zone. That's the only music Ghanaians can claim and will give it to them. They say, okay, Azonto belongs to Ghana. Nigerians were even trying to sing Azonto. Ghanaians say, oh, Nigerians shouldn't sing their Azonto. Azonto belongs to Ghana. Nigerians shouldn't come and enter their genre of music and blah 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 blah. Nigerians come pull out of Azonto. Because they were already doing Azonto better than Ghanaians. They were already, Nigerian musicians were already doing Azonto better than Ghanaians. So Ghanaians became upset and they didn't want it. They said, no, leave it for us, so leave it. Nigerians call it continue their Afro beat. They can't do the Afro beat. Afro beat don't beat now. Afro beat don't succeed. Now it don't change to, oh, it's not Nigerian music. Afro beat doesn't belong to Nigeria. Afro beat is normally to nigeria like every other country has had their own genre of music but since Ghanaians are claiming that afrobeat was created in ghana afrobeat originated from ghana and afrobeat belongs to ghana with the claim we will expect that currently ghana should have top afrobeat artists that are successful in afrobeat so i now say let us look at the Ghanaian artists themselves your Sakodi has never done Afro beat in his entire life. Because Sakodi is a rapper. And all he does is fast rap. Even the fast rap said where Sakodi they do no make sense anymore. But back in the days, the thing used to be somehow ginger people, people they like him. But right now, there is, is it doesn't he cannot even sing it anyway. He cannot. So how can you then claim that you own Afro beat? Shatawale is a dance hall artist. Shatawale is doing reggae dance hall. You understand? The reggae dance hall you are also claiming that you created. Reggae dance hall is from Jamaica. Jamaica is the owner of reggae music. It doesn't matter who argues in this planet. So, Shatawale, sometimes he's in dance hall, sometimes he's in rap. It's just like whiskey. Baby just bend down, bend down, pause. Baby just. That was reggae dance hall. And we all understood that. Oh, whiskey did it so well. But it doesn't give the credit that dance hall belongs to Nigeria. And Nigerians accept and know that. The entire career of Shatawale, he will never have a song like that whiskey song. Baby just bend down. Be he will never. 
So if based on that, we will now say, okay, Whiskey owns Reggae Dance Hall in Africa. Patoranki. These are people that in Nigeria that have done that kind of music. So I don't understand where your claims of Afrobeat are coming from because we don't even see your artists doing Afrobeat. Uh, Black Sharif. Black Sharif is more of a country kind of artist. He sing his music is more of kind of a little rap and you know, but it's not Afrobeat like that. Black Sharif doesn't do Afrobeat like that. So the one Ghanaian artist that has managed to do a successful Afrobeat song is, I think, uh, Prince Umber, somebody. I'm at a point in life if you understand me or not. Misunderstand me or not. Me, I'm okay. That's Afrobeat. And the song is the only Afrobeat song I can remember from Ghana that is successful. Maybe Kwame Eugene is trying to do Afrobeat, but... But... Ghanaians don't do Afrobeat. Period. Ghanaians don't do Afrobeat. Only you are only claiming you own it. You are, you they are, your musicians don't sing Afrobeat because all your top musicians that are into dance or rap and other they don't do Afrobeat. So how can you claim to own Afrobeat when you don't do Afrobeat? How? They think they bust my brain. I need somebody to explain that for me. Make I understand. You don't do Afrobeat, but you claim you own it. No be juju be that. Your mumu no too much. Ah! Ghanaians, calm down. It's not everything you jump and grab. It's not everything. You have your own things you are good at. Do it to the best. Let the world see and celebrate you. And stop trying to grab everything, grab everything. It will not help Ghana. It will not help us. It will not help anybody. Leave Afrobeat for Nigerians. Anybody can sing Afrobeat, but leave it for Nigerians. They are the kings in it. It is what it is. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for always coming around. Let's keep doing this, guys. Let's keep going. God bless you all. Cheers.